Welcome to Tesla Tech Central. In today's video, we will show you how the Tesla Pi phone has destroyed the iPhone 14 Pro, and how this can start the rise of Tesla in the phone industry and the fall of Apple. We would really appreciate it if you could please like and subscribe to the channel. We also wanted to announce the giveaway winner, who is Nick O'Neill. We've sent you a message on YouTube to confirm your prize. However, we will be doing another giveaway, this time for $100 in Bitcoin, which will be given to a random subscriber. So to enter, all you have to do is be subscribed, and that $100 in Bitcoin could be yours. Now, let's carry on with the video. Elon Musk is getting into the smartphone business as well, after spending so much time with electric cars and space engineering. The Tesla Phone Pi is in the works. Tesla will launch its Phone Pi next year in April, but even so, a bulky amount of information regarding the upcoming phone is already available online. Tesla Phone Pi will stand out for possible features, such as a satellite-generated network, mining crypto with its GPU, and more. The age-old no-signal problem will disappear for good, even if the user is placed in the forest, for instance. Therefore, even if there's still a lot to learn about what the upcoming Tesla Phone Pi will be capable of, we can already compare the gadget with the iPhone 14 Pro Max from Apple, judging by the information we have so far. While Apple's iPhone 14 Pro Max that came out this year is equipped with a Super Retina LTPO OLED display, the Tesla Phone Pi is expected to have only an OLED display. Both phones have the same sizes and refresh rates for their screens. 6.7 inches and 120 hertz, respectively. For the rear camera criterion, Tesla Pi Phone wins the round due to its extended 108 megapixel wide camera, the 50 megapixel telephoto camera, the 50 megapixel ultra wide camera, and the 5 megapixel macro camera. On the other hand, the iPhone 14 Pro Max has a 48 megapixel wide camera, a 12 megapixel telephoto, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera and the TOF 3D function when it comes to performance and particularly the chipset, we could consider that the two gadgets are pretty much the same. Tesla's phone is expected to be featuring a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor of 4 nanometers, while the iPhone 14 Pro Max is carrying the A16 Bionic chipset from Apple. If you care too much about RAM memory, you must know that Tesla Phone Pi wins this round as well. The upcoming gadget will be sporting 8 to 12 gigabytes of RAM, while iPhone 14 Pro Max runs on 6 gigabytes. The Tesla Pi phone is starting to gain a lot of traction, and there are a lot who are curious about it. Well, the Tesla Pi phone is a pretty affordable option, starting at just $299. It also has some pretty impressive features. The iPhone 14 Pro, on the other hand, starts at $749 and goes all the way up to $1149 for the most expensive model. So if you're looking for an affordable alternative to the iPhone, the Tesla Pi Phone is definitely worth checking out. The Tesla Pi Phone and iPhone are both high-end smartphones with a lot of features in common. Both have retina displays and face recognition security and are water resistant. However, the Tesla Pi Phone has a few features the iPhone doesn't. For example, the Tesla Pi has a 3D scanner, an iris scanner, and wireless charging. It also has a larger screen, 6.4 inches versus 5.8, and more storage, 128 gigabytes versus 64. The iPhone 14 Pro has better graphics and is more efficient with battery life. So which phone is right for you? That depends on your needs and preferences. It's no secret that the iPhone inspires the Tesla Pi phone, but how does it compare? Both phones have a glass and metal design, but the Tesla Pi phone is a bit thicker. The iPhone has a capacitive home button, while the Tesla Pi phone has a physical home button and capacitive buttons for backup and recent apps. The iPhone has a lightning port, while the Tesla Pi phone has a USB Type-C port. The iPhone has a headphone jack, while the Tesla Pi phone does not. Finally, the iPhone has a slightly larger battery at 2775 mAh while the Tesla Pi Phone has a 3000 mAh battery. One more thing consumers such as about Tesla's professional indemnity phone is the versatility because associated with built-in USB slots and a high-definition multimedia interface output port, customers can hook up all of their preferred peripherals, including a keypad, mouse, printer, or even external hard drive to expand their cellular experience. The majority of components in both phones are likely to be made by partners, 
with certain aspects coming from Tesla-founded firms. Tesla was on the verge of bankruptcy only a few years ago. It now appears to be on track to become one of America's fastest growing tech firms. We structured our approach from start to finish so we could remove any uncertainty surrounding our business concepts and execution. According to Tesla executives, we at Name believe that if you haven't defined your process yet, you're wasting money. Since Elon Musk isn't going to reveal to you his secrets, you'll have to find them out for yourself. The Pi phone would be accompanied by a pre-installed solar battery on its back that would allow customers to charge their phones during daytime anywhere out in the open. This feature is not only good for the environment, but also extremely practical for customers, and we would no longer need it through wires. Simply take out your phone and allow the sun to work its magic in the middle of the day. We couldn't expect anything less from a company that lives on electric automobiles. Many Apple customers buy iPhones because of their interoperability with other Apple goods, as well as the ability to link them all. Tesla's electric vehicle users will be able to link Pi phones to their electric vehicles through software available on the application store. At this point, the iPhone 14 is well known for its notch screen, which contains the front camera and other sensors. However, other phone manufacturers have experimented with various designs, such as a punched camera. Only the size of the notch has been reduced by Apple. The Tesla Pi phone does not have a notch or a punch. Instead, it features a continuous and pleasing to the eye screen. The camera is hidden under the screen thanks to Tesla. The iPhone lacks a fingerprint scanner, which the Tesla Pi phone includes behind the screen. You'll be able to unlock your Tesla phone by just tapping one portion of the screen, which is a pretty easy approach. When dropped, the iPhone's rough Mac glass back is subject to breaking. If you use a cover, the Big Apple logo on the rear will be hidden. The Tesla Pi phone has a large branding on the back as well, but the phone's photochromic coating allows it to change color in response to sunshine. The iPhone 14 charges through a port or wirelessly, with complaints abounding about the latter's slowness in comparison to other flagship phones, whereas wireless charging for the Pi phone has yet to be verified. It will have solar panels built inside it. Tesla has a solar panel manufacturing plant, so this shouldn't be a problem. What are your thoughts on this? Please leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and turn the notification bell on so you never miss a video. We would really appreciate it if you do this as it really helps support the channel. On this channel, we share the latest news, rumors, and insights into all things Tesla, SpaceX, Elon Musk related, and whatever else we think is interesting. You'll be able to find news surrounding all of the Tesla 2022 vehicles, including the Model S, Model 3, Model X, Model Y, Roadster, Cybertruck, and Semi if you're subscribed with notifications on. Until next time, we'll see you later.